Hi everyone, Erica Rendell. I'm sitting in my vehicle right now waiting for my boyfriend who's playing soccer on a soccer pitch. I had 20 minutes, I needed to make a call and I'm making the most of my time. My call didn't go through, so, or I, yeah, couldn't get through to the person I was calling. But anyhow, I thought I would talk about the Vancouver real estate uh, numbers for condos and townhomes. It's the third week of April. And uh, yeah, once again, I thought I'd deliver the content that I usually talk about, days on market, sale price, listing price, neighborhoods uh, in the west side and what's happening in Vancouver for, for real estate. Okay, so yeah, it's really busy still out there as it always is. This is Vancouver and it's always busy. We're into the third week of April and homes right now are selling on the west side 1% above the listing price uh, on average. So if you've got a one bedroom and den condo, for example, listed at 650000 your home is going to sell for higher than the list price. Uh, 1% would be about $6,500. That is a lot of money. That's, you know, your legal fees, your moving fees. Uh, of course, the, the fee that you would pay for the movers to move your things, you know, and a really nice lunch. Every penny counts in this expensive city that we live in. And uh, when we, we've got to be so careful that we know our numbers and values and expected sale price uh, in our business being realtors because it's, uh, you know, the only way to be successful is to be accurate and, and have these numbers down pat. But uh, anyhow, homes are selling over asking whether you've got a one bedroom or a two bedroom. We are still seeing property sell for higher than asking. We're seeing multiple offers in certain areas and uh, that's that. The average sale price right now is one million eight thousand. So one million and eight. This price is up uh, over last month. Last month it was nine hundred and eighty thousand. So, you know, my goodness, price sale price now is average is over a thousand. This is for condos, of course, only. The average sale price per square foot is one thousand ninety seven. Almost eleven hundred dollars price per square foot over uh, and up. Over and up 2% since uh, the previous month. The, as I say, I think, I don't know, days on market right now is 10 days. So very little uh, amount of time on the marketplace if you go to list your home, which means you can expect a sale, a deal in place, an offer, subjects removed, uh, a firm sale that is in less than less than two weeks. The areas in the west side of Vancouver, we've got Ar Arbutus, Canby, Fairview, Falls Creek, Mackenzie Heights, Quilchenna, um, of course there's Shaughnessy and South Canby, South Granville, Murpole even saw uh, a number of a good number of sales, and of course going right down to the university area, which is uh, the furthest west that you can go. So this con this information covers all those areas. The one bedroom and dens right now are the properties that are selling in the least amount of time, and it is the busiest uh, sector for condos. Definitely. Uh, you do have to have your your ducks in a row and you have to have all your sort of, uh, yeah, the important features, the important things about purchasing a property lined up, getting your financing in place, having the documents read. You have to have a pre-inspection. You have to, of course, get your insurance in place. There's so many things that you can do to line up a sale or to line up a, a contract, a purchase and sale for a successful outcome. You have to have a good, experienced, uh, seasoned realtor who can tell you what to do to get that winning offer because you might be competing, of course, but... If you are looking for a property in that one bedroom range, then you do have to have everything ready to go. You can't just start looking, then get your financing done because that's going to work against you. You've got to get your financing done. Call a mortgage broker. Get your documents to the mortgage broker. You have to give them every piece of information that they are requesting because having that out of the way saves time when you're working on the, when you're working on when you're doing your due diligence throughout the week that you have subjects for conditions. So you have to really be prepared, but you can do very well if you, yeah, if you have everything just ready to go. Anyway, two bedrooms are also selling uh, in a fairly reasonably, in, sorry, in a fairly short period of time, less than two weeks as well. That eight to 900,000 is also busy, but as I say, the six to seven uh, and seven to 800,000 is the busiest market uh, yeah, busiest marketplace right now or busiest market section for the 
condos, sorry, prices. I lost my words. Anyhow, if you've got any questions on your home's value, if you want to talk about real estate improvements, you know, renovations, should you do your kitchen cabinets or your floors or your countertops before selling? I sort of depends maybe not if you you might be surprised buyers are not uh you know all that interested in paying a premium for you know uh for fancy countertops i think they're just looking for location a good space and a good building you know they're looking for a place to call home they can do the countertops themselves so sometimes not doing the countertops would work in your favor if you're up against time it's the third week of april uh, we're almost past the busiest time. Typically, May is still expected to be, uh, you know, steady for sales and such. But this is, you know, valuable information that you do need to hear from someone else. Don't just make a decision on a big reno. It may not be in your best interest. But uh, anyhow, if you're looking on Realtor.ca or, you know, REW.ca or your Realtor's website, you see a property that... Uh, you know, you're interested in, you want to know if there's room to negotiate because that's also a possibility sometimes as well. Feel free to pick up the phone and call me because I love to help negotiate, look at places. I travel for work a lot. I, and uh, yeah, anyhow, I love all this stuff. So hope this, hope this was useful and uh, thank you so much for listening. Okay. Bye.